know if you can hear me. I'll try and talk loud. Uh, it is June 7th and we're just exploring the beach here. And we got the dogs, they're having a lot of fun. And of course he's talking to me and I don't hear him. Oh. Looks like we're gonna have to cross that creek. I don't have the wow, right shoes for this. Oh wow. So we we're finding a lot of like little uh, glass, you know, sea glass. So I gotta go across that now. Okay. Bandit's having so much fun. Huh, Bandit? Look at you, you're all wet. Run, little munchkin. Layla, loving it. The ball in her mouth. Oh my god. The life. I wore the wrong shoes for these guys. It was colder this morning and I didn't think about it and now my feet are burning up. And I wanna get my feet kinda wet but I just don't wanna take off my shoes and get them dirty right now. Shoulda worn sandals. Okay, I took them off. They were starting to burn. Mmm, that feels better though. <laughs> you guys, we were in Arizona, Nevada not too long ago. And it was beautiful. We enjoyed it. We went to all the national parks that we could. Um, you know, the desert, uh, the rocks, the mountains, the... Oh, fuck, this hurts. Ow, my feet. Um, and we thought it was beautiful. And, you know, cacti. All the, you know, the flora and fauna of those two states, they're beautiful. But we miss the ocean. I mean, look at this. We miss the, the sound of it, the smell of it, the beauty of it, the way, you know, it mists up and, you, you know, you can smell it a mile away, you know. That's, that's the shit. This is what we miss. We're so happy to be on the coast. So happy to smell it and listen to it. And yeah, I don't know if we can ever move away from the ocean. It'll be really hard. We'd probably end up at like a river or a creek or I don't know. But give me the ocean, man. Look at this. It's uh, cemetery tourism time. This is one of my favorite things to do. When we find a new place and you have a cemetery and it looks old, I'm all about it, y'all. So, this one is literally right next to our, our camping place. I don't know if you can see the sign back there. It's really hard to see with so much sun in my face, but the sign is literally right there for our camping ground. And here's the cemetery. So, yeah, I'm going to take a whole bunch of pictures um, and see which, which uh, gravestone is the oldest one. Um, the things I look for are like the headstone. If you watch, I'll show you one right over here. All right, check that out. This looks like it's an old one. 1833, died 1881. And then there's this hand kind of gesture here. Um, and a lot of these are actually like 1908, the oldest I found. 1908, I have uh, 1881 over here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I always look for the oldest cemetery or oldest uh, headstone. Um, this one's a two-year-old. Died 
1871. 1883. 1883 over there. Oh my god, this is a really fun uh, cemetery, guys. Got some pretty good history, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, I actually, I look for the headstones. This, yeah, there's some good old ones here. So I look at the top of that, and those change huh? during time. Um, I'm talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> um, Better watch snapping at me. <laughs> I snap back. Talking to the camera. Um, so yeah, those actually they change during time in the 1600s. Um, if you go on the East Coast, there it's like a little skull. They're called memento moris, and on the East Coast you see a lot of like skulls with uh with uh what's it called uh fucking wings coming out of them um and it's basically just kind of reminding people of their moral mortality and all this so you know it's not just some weird morbid fascination i mean it kind of is but um it's more about the history so that's why i like coming to cemeteries it's pretty cool all right i'm gonna get take some pictures okay bye all right this is what i'm talking about guys usually if you see a lamb on a, a tombstone it usually means like it's a kid or a baby or something and then right next to it there's one that has a hand pointing up and a lot of these are like they mean stuff you know like this one i think is just like you know remember god or whatever um there's a book out i want to get it but it explains all the headstone like uh memento moris that they put on them I would totally want that book <laughs> but I don't think I've actually seen a hand pointing up yet maybe I have I'm not sure I've seen so many graves but this is a great place to be uh, buried right right near the ocean I totally stepped on an ant Ow. beautiful you guys look this one looks like it's been restored. This one's from uh, 1892. This person died 20 years old. Joseph Kennedy, native of Canada. But look how like crisp everything is. There's not a lot of dirt or moss or anything growing on it. So I think somebody came here and like restored a lot of these headstones. And look at that. There's another Kennedy here. 1882. These guys must be related. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? You know, I always get a little sad when I see tiny ass markers like that. Like, you don't even know who it is, what, what they were, who they were, how old they were. I mean, check this out. Look how small this thing is. my iPhone. That shit's like smaller than my iPhone. Look at that. That's so sad. You can't even read anything on it. It's just like a piece of wood. Ugh. No thanks. You guys, I've never seen anything like this before, I don't think. It's just like a random ass freaking like stone jar. I wonder if there's like ashes in there. And it's not even like attached to the ground. You can actually move it. I don't even want to try and open it. That's rude. But it's just like out here all by its lonesome. Well, except for these two guys. They're probably related. I'm not sure. But it's like, it's so weird. I've never seen anything like that. Like, and then it's pretty empty. And then boom. It's just jar. <laughs> Sometimes you find some really unique ones. Look at that. This guy must have been like a, you know, someone who welded and had art stuff going on. Somebody left a beer for them. For my homies. Oh, what's that? It looks like a, like a boat. Like that bottom part of a boat. I don't want to turn it around. I don't want to touch it. Cause that's rude. <laughs> background 
I love cemetery touring. I really do. <laughs> Such a weirdo. Cheese and asparagus stuffed chicken. Wait, say, say that again. Basil, uh -huh. Havarti cheese, mm -hmm. and asparagus stuffed chicken. Man, that sounds hilly. Look at that. What a day. <laughs> nice long walk on the beach, then the cemetery, and now an amazing dinner. We always have, we always eat good though. Even we're just having like something simple like hot dogs or BOT or something. It's always hella good. Yeah, I'm just gonna smoke one for a little bit. And then, you know, we'll, we'll have stuff like this. That's just amazing. I'm making some, uh, some jasmine rice right now. Making jasmine rice. It smells hella good. And I kind of like it a little bit burnt. So it's a little toasted. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's like the best part is when you kind of toast it. That one's a little bit burnt, but there's some parts like right here. I was like a little bit of the, like a toasted rice. I think that's hella good. We call it with colon. Con colon. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's just Panamanian or Venezuelan or whatever, but family calls it that. Mmm. Yum.